Hello there, and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. We got some news. We actually got an update, hotfix, which happened yesterday, but uh, at the moment of me recording this, 11 hours after it was announced, I still didn't get it on Steam for some reason. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but to be honest, I didn't have any of the most uh, crazy issues. Let's go through it. Let's, let's see what changed. All right, happy hotfix day. We're actively deploying a hotfix for all platforms. Please allow up to two hours. Well, it's been 11 hours and I still don't have the, the hotfix. I restarted the Steam. I, I, I checked everything. I I don't know. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not in a rush, but just saying. All right, so uh, the top fixes include Xbox players can now join a Valley visit via the friend list. No code requirement. Okay, can we do that for Steam? Steam also has friend feature. Can we do that? Also, can we? Okay, I'm not. I'm not complaining. It's just one feature that I want to request for the future is to uh, allow to add people inside the game as your friends. That would be pretty, pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. The forgotten has found their body again. That sounds terrifying. I have no idea what kind of a glitch was happening where forgotten lost their body. But I'm glad I'm I'm glad you found it. Dapper Wally Dream Style hat realigned. Well, I haven't used this uh, skin since the update, so I didn't even know there was an issue. But that's good. Rose eye patch removed from Scrooge store. Why? I actually saw it and I bought it. I thought it was like removed completely. Like why? Wasn't it supposed to be there? Was it a premium shop item? Wait, I don't get it. All right, more fixes. Visit the Borderlands with the removal of the invisible wall. That is awesome. There was a, uh, an area in Borderlands that was locked out, and now it's possible to get there. That That is a good fix. I've seen a lot of people uh, having this issue. Various grid issues and stuck items on Eternity Isle. Thank you. I hope nothing is going to get stuck or lost. Do not see anything about uh, the... Uh, the Russian dolls for Jack Skellington. Those are very annoying because a lot of people cannot unlock him because they can't find the final doll. Optimization of Scramble Coin AI and new difficulty indicator. Now, this one gets me a little bit scared. I have seen a lot of people, a lot of people complaining about how difficult Scramble Coin is. And uh, I wonder if their optimization of AI was to make it easier. I hope not. Okay, okay, hear me out. It is difficult in the beginning. Uh, to be honest, the w they should make it the way that... Uh, okay, so now with a difficulty indicator. So I, since I don't have the patch yet for some reason, but I have seen people say there is a new, like an, uh, a level near the, uh, the bubble, near the scramble coin bubble for each character so you can see their difficulty level. And you can basically choose to, to play against the easiest characters at the beginning. And then as you get stronger, you play against uh, higher level characters. To be honest, it, it feels like right now I'm, I'm pushing close to 300. I'm almost done with the whole uh, ranking up process. And it feels extremely easy. I haven't lost a single game since probably 200, rank 200. And uh, I feel like it, it's, it's like... It's, it's, it's twisted because in the beginning you're going to struggle a lot. It's it's going to be almost not fun because you're going to be losing a lot. But but then as you level up, it's going gonna, it's gonna to become pretty easy and you're going to be winning almost every single time. So it's kind of, it's like, it's it's a really cool feature. I feel like, I feel like Scramble Coin needs complete revamp in the next update. Something that will make this permanent. Because right now, once you complete it, it's it's pretty much over. There is nothing else to do with the Scramble Coin. There's no progression. You can still play it, but there is literally nothing you get out of it. So I, I'm hoping the next update, we're going to see something that will make Scramble Coin more permanent addition to the game. Something potentially to have completely... Uh, well, first of all, we, we could have competitions. You could have... Uh, every single update reset the milestones like for people who unlocked 
all of the figurines maybe uh give us a new uh board where we can progress levels and and just get to just anything just get simple stuff like maybe once in a while sprinkle some moonstones like five moonstones there five moonstones there uh some resources maybe uh some coins some mists some dream lights some stuff just sprinkle on on the board like we have figurines right now and make it like 10,000 levels and let people play so they actually feel like they're progressing towards something and getting small little prices in the process i think a lot of people are enjoying scramble coin so i would love to see the return and improvement about the ai i feel like ai is fine the game is already rigged against ai because if you haven't noticed the last turn turn five AI gets only one gold coin on the table, while you get two. So, it's like it's like already rigged in your favor. So, in my opinion, AI is not difficult. The only difficulty comes from not having uh, good figurines and also the random of getting figurines. Some people will get the best figurines early on, while other people might not get certain figurines that will make winning much easier until the very end so uh th they need to rebalance it i feel like and make it that uh maybe in the beginning you can only face figurines that you already have unlocked that would be a pretty cool feature i don't know th there there should be a way to rebalance it w maybe at difficulty levels maybe you can have uh like an easy difficulty where you get a certain amount of points and then hard difficulty where you uh, for example, get double the points, or if you lose, you lose points, and if you win, you get you win double the points. I don't know something. Anyway, I, I'm I'm super excited about Scramble Coin, so I hope this is not the end of it. Uh, expansion top fixes continues. Capybara will now drop rewards after feeding. Okay, that that was that was a weird issue. I, I had the same issue with snakes too. Villagers no longer sit together after playing Scramble Coin. Maybe it's something I haven't encountered. Scramble Coin versus Duties updated. Okay, fair enough. Updated how? Many quest breaking bugs resolved, various other fixes and improvements. First of all, let's give let's give developer team a nice th thumbs up for getting this patch out pretty quickly before Christmas. Uh, I'm sure there is still lots of things that are not fixed. I'm sure people are going to have still have issues, but it looks like a lot of progress is being made. There is one sad, sad thing about the glitchy pixel duplicate. So a resolution for glitchy pixel duplicate issues is planned for additional fix planned for early 2024. Thank you for all who have reported their issues and for your continuous patience. Ooh, this was this one. This one stings a bit. This one stings a bit. Early 2024. Is it really that complex of an issue that you need so much time to fix it? Maybe they need to test a bunch of stuff to make sure it doesn't happen again. Because for them to release a, like a very quick fix and then turn out that it didn't work for everybody and people lose even more resources, that's going to be a disaster. So maybe, maybe they want to take their sweet time. Plus... Probably everybody is going to be uh, away for Christmas for the whole week, so they, they ain't got nobody to fix those issues. Let's see let's see the Trello board. I'm kind of curious. All right, so here is uh, various fixes. Da, da, da. What things are they actively working on? Let's let's take a look. Crafting while using glitchy pixel duplicate causes material to disappear. Okay, so they're working on this one. X bush is still present in the valley. Wait, what? Oh, th that's a new one. Color of rustic counter is not consistent with the rest of the Arendelle set. Fair enough. Players unable to unlock stitches level 10 friendship. Okay, I've heard about this one. Unable to pick up items at the base of palm trees. Okay. Mother Gothel restoring the sunstone quest issue. Mushroom plus flower plus fruit spawn raise rebalancing. Progress lost following September 15 update. Damn, that was a f long time ago. Foundry pack rewards missing. Crashes on console. Avatar. Okay, so here it says not an issue. Unable to find Matryoshka dolls. Why? 
The Matryoshka dolls required to progress in a certain villager's unlock quest are distributed randomly across the valley. While they can be tricky to find, we are not aware of any issue preventing them from spawning. Keep searching, you've got this. Okay, I have personally visited... Was it Amanda? I feel like it was Amanda. I'm sorry if I I, I complete I, I visited so many people I, I I might be confusing something but I have visited a valley that was completely stripped down I think it was Amanda she removed all of the items all of the items from her valley just to be able to find the final doll and I I run through the entire valley we checked all the hidden spots there is no doll so. I think there is an issue, okay? I think there is definitely an issue. The forgotten renders without a face. <laughs> wow, this game has the best bugs. All right, so I'm kind of I'm kind of curious what people have to say about these fixes. Okay, that's a very positive response. Please set an own category for meat for cooking on PlayStation. Always need to scroll through all ingredients. That is a good point. Gaston Scarab Key. Alright, I have seen this comment in every single post. I can't log out of cloud save. I need to recover my local save. You need to do something about it. I spent over 400 hours playing and over $300 spent on DLC Moonstones and the game. I'm not gonna pay again when I already have my game. If you guys don't fix this, I want a refund. I'm trying to understand what the issue is. Log out of cloud safe. Honestly, I don't think this is the best place for this issue. You should definitely reach out to their support team. I I, I don't think they'll be able to, to help you on Twitter. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they do help people on Twitter, but it feels like... It, it feels like there's a better place to resolve this issue. It does sound... I don't know. One thing... I understand the frustration, whatever issue this is, but writing this whole message in caps kind of feels a little bit over the top. And writing it in every single post, it's like in real life, yelling is not going to help you to get heard. I'm not saying that this issue is not important and that you shouldn't try to resolve it, but you also leave these comments for other people who are scrolling and just checking out what people have to say. like. I feel like I, I just feel there's a better way to resolve this issue. So there is still a glitch that some people cannot reach the hourglass. That is kind of sad. But why? Oh, I see what happens here. So you had this green rock spawn right in, in, in the place where you need to get to the hourglass. And in order to up craft the upgrade for your shovel to remove this rock, you actually need the hourglass. Oh my god, that is so unlucky. On it, I'm gonna be honest, this would be, if I was coding the game, I would never think that this could be an issue. Like, how do you even stop it? Like, you, you'll have to dedicate certain area enable to spawn rocks on, like... This is one of those issues that nobody could even think that this could happen. Like the chances of this happening is probably one in a million. But from millions of players, I'm sure there is a handful of very frustrated players right now. I'm sorry, guys. I hope it does get fixed. I have no clue how to fix this. Maybe to just give out the small shovel updates to everybody for free. I don't know, but I hope it gets fixed. And yet people pay for the DLC with major issues. Glad I have not paid for it, as I already paid for the game and cannot get anything as crucial for the last 10 months. I mean, I, I understand the point, but also, even with major issues, I feel like it was still worth it. I know, I know, I'm, I'm not trying to defend Game Loft here. I'm just saying that for $30, the amount of content you got, even if you got a lot of problems, Still, if you if you really want the expansion, and the only thing that's stopping you from getting it is seeing all these bugs, the bugs are going to get fixed. 
And by the time they get fixed, there is still lots of you to explore in Eternity Isle. So I wouldn't... I would suggest for people who see these posts with all these issues and uh, like not buying DLC for just that one reason, I say you should still get it because all the bugs are going to get fixed eventually and uh, there's so much stuff to do. If, even if one of the one of the areas of the update gets blocked by a certain issue which once again it seems like a lot of people are having issues like game breaking issues but it's not actually that many people in comparison to the whole player base of the game because it, it looks like it looks like there's insane amount of issues because people who have issues will post about it by people but people who don't have issues they don't post oh i have no issues in the game that's great it's it's just i feel like it creates a very negative view of how bad the situation is and i'm not talking about uh, like all of the issues but for example issues that literally stop you from progressing i'm pretty sure those are very rare. The chances of you getting one of those issues is probably less than 5%. So in my opinion, it's still worth it to give it a try. And if you do have an issue, I'm I'm sure they're going to fix it eventually. And hopefully very soon. Yep, uh, there's still lots of issues. Yeah, the monkey issue, I also have this issue. I, I don't think it's a specific monkey issue. It's more of a location. If you get a monkey that's near the stairs... Whenever they go on the stairs, they're just gonna teleport. So that's kind of that's kind of annoying. Yep, still lots of issues, but the steps are being made in the right direction. So I'm hoping we're gonna see multiple patches in a very short time, and hopefully all of all of the issues are gonna be resolved. I almost like I I, I had my heart stop for a second today when I opened the game, and everything in my valley was gone. Thankfully, it was just a temporary bug. I restarted the game and everything was fine but like for a second there i was like the glitched bag just deleted my valley <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> anyway what do you guys think do you think they're doing enough or do you think they should be doing more let me know in the comments and huge thanks to all of our supporters cannot wait for the next badge that will hopefully fix uh the glitched item thing and the rest uh the rest of the bugs people are having i have a feeling that disney dreamlight valley development team is going to be very busy they did go this route where they went for no free to play so now they have even higher responsibility to make sure that the game is as functional and has the least amount of bugs possible on all pl platforms so good luck guys you made the choice now you got to show that you got what it takes to get the game to be uh, polished for the full release. Good luck and subscribe for more content for Distant Dreamlight Valley. I'm here every day for, to entertain you and hopefully maybe get some useful information out. I'll see you in the next one and take care.